what's up everyone um today i'm going to be talking about how to become a better artist you really have to be talking in a low calm voice if you want to become a better artist because that will help you think thoroughly and think really clearly and understand what makes people become a better artist because if your thoughts are not clear you are not going to become a better artist at all <laughs> If you don't know who talk like that, if you know who talks like that, just leave it down in the comment section below. Let's see what y'all got. Let's see if y'all know who y'all watching on YouTube. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about drawing the human figure and learning how we can simplify drawing the anatomy of the human figure. Oh my god, that was a lot of words. But let's jump right into it and get drawing. Before we even proceed to simplify the muscles, first we have to understand the muscles, how they connect, and what makes up each and every individual muscle group in our bodies. Next, we're going to learn what muscles contract and what muscles stretch whenever an arm is pushed or whenever an arm is being pulled or when the legs are standing in a certain position and all that. And then the next part is we're going to simplify the human anatomy by breaking down the muscles and drawing them as shapes. And the rest is in your part where you will have to draw your own muscles, draw your own anatomy and poses with just shapes. And let's get right into it. So an artist that really nails how to draw simplified anatomy and human figures is Sean Galloway. The one thing we can notice is this shape he's having right here for his traps. So you can see how he has simplified the shapes of the trapezius on this guy right here. This entire shape, he has just broken it down into simple lines and he joined the entire shape right into the shoulders. So that's something you can do. If you're looking at the entire shape you're going to be breaking it down and drawing each individual shape individual muscle slowly that's just going to waste your time you're going to be thinking really slowly so what you want to do is to see the entire broad shape of the full figure of the entire body and break that down into one big shape then you can go about drawing your little tiny details if you feel like later on you can see the shoulder is just one big triangle from the side which is exactly what he's doing right here look at that big triangle look at that shape it's just a simplified shape nothing we're not focusing on any of those tiny muscles that are in there we're not focusing on all these tiny fibers we're just breaking them down into simple shapes simple shapes guys and then what we can notice is the way he draws his arms so this is one line right here which goes for the bicep you can see how here the bicep is curved but here he has his bicep a little bit straight and that's because the tricep here is curved out so in drawing you always want to be having some muscles that are curved and then counterbalancing that with other muscles going the opposite directions that are either contracting all we can look at is this one look at all the girls just so much detail look how complicated the drawing is there's so much clothing going on indiana jones what are you doing bro but just take a look at how he broke it apart and changes into the black panther so first up we can notice a straight line of action going this way and then his base shape is this big broad shape from the back and that connects the entire shape you want to be thinking through through think through all these shapes right here don't just think of one part so look at how this big broad shape connects back right into the body and up onto the other side and then this is where he, he goes around right here that's the rib cage and he has one more square inside the rib cage and that connects to the waist the pelvic that's right here so you don't want to be just drawing one shape and then you pause and then start drawing your arm or whatever muscle you're drawing you want to think of the entire broad shape of the figure go around and then you bring it back and connect it with your torso and then you connect that as well and then you can go about placing the other parts of your body if that's something that you want to do or if you're drawing guru that has multiple arms then you can figure that out as well now for drawing legs you always want to be thinking in shapes long shapes rectangular shapes and your rectangle should have a little bit of curves on the side because you have muscles right here and you also have muscles right here at the bottom which is connecting to the kneecap because your thighs have about four muscles in them that's why they're called the quadriceps it's four muscles that are inside here so you always want to think about the general shape of each of the muscles that's why you're seeing him going and drawing his um legs this way so there's a shape right here and that is pretty much more apparent right here in this drawing so you can see 
there's a shape right here this is a muscle right here and then it breaks apart by the kneecap and then it goes back this way and connects back into the pelvic continuing into the rest of the body now this is a muscle right here it goes this way and there's a muscle right here this is your hamstring muscle it goes this way there are other muscles that are connecting the legs and you always want to be thinking about each of these individual muscles when you're drawing your shapes next thing i want to take a look at is how he simplifies drawing his abs Ooh, abs these are so many tiny muscles right here no that's not how he draws them there's so many muscles now nah. he just simply thinks of the general shape that they follow and then you follow through by drawing your first line right here this is signifying where your obliques are located if you remember i showed you when we were drawing the entire muscle structure we looked at that your obliques are right here so he doesn't go around drawing the entire shapes of the obliques you just have one line here to signify that shape of the obliques and then another line here this is just to show you the direction where the body is going and then he breaks it down by drawing in where the abs are placed and something you can do to simplify how you're drawing the abs drawing where they're placed is to think about where um the light source is coming from so that's going to help you in drawing your abs making some lines thicker in them and making where your light source is hitting a little bit lighter so you have some thick to thin light line movement in your abs or even go about drawing your bodies simplifying your anatomy and all that i'll suggest you nail drawing your poses i made a video last week on that if you haven't seen that video i'll suggest you should check that out that video you're going to learn how to use that simplified anatomy to draw a dynamic pose so make sure you're seeing both of them now when it comes to drawing chubby people this is where you can really really have a lot of fun i don't know why but there's just so much fun in drawing them oh look there's so many details right here look all these contours and shapes going this way and then we have the shape going this way no he look how sean galloway did it. he just simplified it into just one dynamic shape so you just have one straight line going this way and then on the other part is where you have your curves it's just easy to counterbalance all your shapes and it works really well it makes your drawings really look so good when you do this so instead of you having a lot of different shapes to show where the arms is all these muscles you just simplify it into one big broad shape right here and then on the opposite side is where you have your curves and if you take a look at how he has done the legs you can see it's pretty much the same thing he has this one shape going in this direction is pretty much a flat shape to show that this leg is stretching this muscle right here is being stretched and then the one at the top is being contracted so you can see that's why that muscle has the pump it's pumped up it's contracted that's why it's swelling and then this one right here is stretched as well and then you can see here you have the contraction so drawing your muscles simplifying your muscles is all about thinking of which muscle is going to be stretched and which muscle on the opposite part is going to be contracted i've said this a lot but you have to be using it in your work if you want to nail your simplified drawing you don't have to be drawing all flex characters all the time simplify some muscles stretch some and then contract the muscle on the opposite side so for drawing arms is really easy pretty much all you're doing is just uh, stretching and contracting the arm muscle so if your arm is this way you want to think about the biceps as being on one side and the triceps as being on the opposite side so if you're drawing your arms just like how he does just like how he's drawing right here if you have your biceps stretched you'll know that your tricep is going to be contracted and if you have your tricep stretched then your bicep is going to be contracted on the other side so that's pretty much how you're going to be going about when you're drawing your arms drawing the female character is a little bit more easier because you're really just going to be thinking about few shapes and let's just take a look at how sean galloway does it so first off you can see this is a female character and the base shape right here is just this shape that pretty much makes up of her entire torso so you have one shape that makes up from the torso that gets to the waist and from the waist we can connect down to the rest of the body just by using a simple shape that is for the pelvic so this these are the main shapes that make up the female body so we have this main shape right here this for the torso and then we have this that goes down this way then from there you pretty much just want to be doing the same thing thinking about what muscles are being stretched and what muscles are being contracted so for females you really have to be simplifying a lot of the muscles and knowing which muscles to stretch and contract so for this one we have her legs are going downwards so basically we, all the muscles on this part are being stretched and then we have our curves going on on the opposite direction just to make it look more dynamic and simplified 
and then from the top we can just connect a sideways triangle and then just a long rectangle for the arms that's pretty much all you want to be doing when it comes to simplifying the figures of the female but if you're going for a more realistic look with your work someone that you can check out and learn from is also Marco Derjevic he's a really fantastic artist illustrator comic book artist he's, man he's just so really he's just so good he's too good you really want to take a look at his work and if you just come in here and take a look at how he's drawing his muscles his anatomy it's pretty much the same stuff over it you can see a lot of detail a lot of um drawings lines and all that but if you really look down you can see it's just pretty much the same shapes so if you come into his work and break his work apart you can see that it's pretty much using just the same simplified shapes but he's drawing them without using a lot of triangles in his work and using more of curves to make his drawing look more fluid more natural instead of the simplified cartoony look when you use a lot of triangles and edges in your work so first of all when it comes to thinking of how to shape the body once you figure out your line of action the pose you want the character to take the first thing you're going to take notice of is the shape that marco has right here there's a rectangular shape that forms the torso but it has something like an upside down triangle attached to the top and that is because right here is where we have the latissimus muscle which is on the back the latissimus muscle located at the back that's pretty much what makes the drawings have these kind of up, uh, upside down triangle shape connected to a torso at the top and the next thing we want to notice is the shape of your pelvic is pretty much this this is the shape that i love to use for my pelvic pelvic because it's easier for me to just attach the legs down to it below or whatever shape i want to use for my legs but you can go ahead and use whatever shape you prefer using some people just love to use a cube or whatever but you always want to make sure that you're attaching where the legs will go into i think of the legs as long rectangles but each side has a different shape depending on where the leg is turning to so if your legs are facing sideways they're going to probably look like this because of the muscle and if your legs are if you're looking at the legs straight on forward you're going to have a shape that's more like this because of where the muscles are placed and then for your knees i just love to have a simple square like this and then another thing you want to take note of is the position the placing of where you're having your curve so the the muscles the shape of the muscles in the leg go like this and then you have one that's going like this and then this way so this is where you're going to have your high point then your next low point this way this way down till you get to where you have your um ankles and your foot placement so you always want to have this zigzag motion in your leg placement high muscles at the top here and a low muscle here this is high comes down here high at the shin goes down that way really marco dergevic has some really fantastic work on his page if you just take a look man you'll just be blown out look at all this detail and what is even more amazing is the amount of drawing he has under his belt this is someone that came from drawing a lot of comics now he's just doing paintings and pretty much nailing all his drawings at once it's just really amazing to look at and to study from so like i said just think about the entire shapes of the muscles after you've studied the muscles after you've used all the books use all your anatomy books i've left a link down in the description you can download all of the books after you've learned from them you can then go about thinking of how you can simplify these muscles just by using shapes and someone that's really perfect at doing that is sean galloway so make sure you're taking studies from his work make sure you're looking at his work studying it breaking them down and seeing what you can learn from them that's all i have for you guys today hope you enjoyed this video if you did if you learned something from this video make sure you share it with a friend leave a like on the video and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here and with that being said i will see you guys in the next video peace